Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. This is Legit Agents. We've got a fun one today. We're gonna to be talking about the one thing you should be doing in your first month of real estate, or more importantly, just as a newer agent, the one thing you should be doing. Let's go. What's up guys, we are The Legit Agents. I am Eli Schmidt, this is my partner, Will Grimes. If it's your first time checking out our channel, appreciate you being here guys. We have all sorts of new school real estate agent <laughs> training for you, personal branding. Guys, really what it takes to succeed as a real estate agent in 2021 going forward. So if you have not done so yet, hit that subscribe button. We're dropping a new video every Tuesday and Thursday morning for you. Correct, and we are licensed brokers, and yes, we are still partnering up with agents and helping them build their brand and their business in addition to our own team. So if that's something for you guys, this number popping up below, we are the guys who answer the phone calls and the text messages. We're also the guys who answer the emails. If you have any questions in regards to something like that and what it would look like teaming up with us, Please reach out. Or just questions in general. You need some help no. in real estate. No. <laughs> Throw us your questions, no. guys. <laughs> I get enough questions from this guy. Great Bottom point. line, if you guys have something, reach out. Yeah, We'd love yeah. to help you. And more importantly, we love paying it forward and just helping agents. Like, bottom line, guys, it's not your managing brokers. It's not the big box brokerages that are going to be helping build your brand and build your business or giving you the how-tos on actually how to get out there. And I say it every video, whether it was top 1% or top 0.5% worldwide for Berkshire Hathaway before we branched off to EXP. Everything that we teach on this channel in our private Facebook groups are everything that we've actually done to create volume that's created sales traction. This is not hypotheticals. This is not something silly as far as like what we think might work to be gurus on YouTube, right? Like, no, this is real things that work. We've also got that other YouTube channel living in Denver, Colorado. That channel does 13 million a month in volume and climbing. So take a look at that if you guys have some more questions on maybe just watching us in action with how we handle our YouTube and what could work for you. You could probably do a lot of what we're doing there and apply it. But today, we more specifically, we wanna give you guys just an idea as far as, hey, if you're new to real estate, this is your first month, or maybe your first year and you haven't figured it out, and everybody keeps saying that you gotta be busy and you gotta show that you're busy and you gotta be out there in the real estate community doing things, but what does that mean? Yeah, You're right, you're not alone. What the hell does that mean? So that's what we're gonna talk about today. So in addition to your social media and some things that we've already taught, Yes, you wanna look like you're busy in real estate and you're out there in your industry and being proactive and doing your thing, cool. So the number one thing you're probably doing when you're out there is conducting open houses, especially since post COVID and the weather's nice, you're doing open houses, or you're asking other agents to just show and video their listings because you wanna be busy and show that you're out there. So great, hey, listen, a lot of people are, down, are, are downplaying that idea. It's not a bad idea. Here's what you don't wanna do with that. No, you don't wanna walk through the open house like Minecraft and show the bathroom and show the closet. Nobody from your social media is buying you that house. We've sold hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of homes. Not one sold from a Facebook friend. And that says nothing about you. It's, just, it's hard Correct. to watch, it's nauseating, it's just, it's poor it's content. Good. But then it's like, well, okay, you could stand in the kitchen by your flyers and hey guys, happy Saturday, I'm at my open house. Like. Yeah, that shows that you're you're out there and you're doing something, but if I'm watching as a consumer, there's no value, mm -hmm. right? Like I'm out, okay, cool, Christina's there's at no an open reason house. reason for you to watch it. There's just no value, right? Mm -hmm. Even if I like who you are as a person, we're friends on, on, on Facebook, I'm not learning anything, right? So then it's like, okay, Will, thank you, but like, what the hell do I do? That's what we're talking about in this video, a wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, giving you an idea. We've talked about it before, but we wanna be specific here. If you're gonna be showing open houses, Okay, you gotta be super consistent with it. Mm -hmm. If you're gonna be sh uh, highlighting listings, the listing of the week that you wanna show, even if it's not yours, you just wanna highlight a listing of the week and be proactive in your community. Cool, here's an idea you could be, do you could be doing. So if, if that home has great curb appeal, a great kitchen, a great grand room, stay fixed in a position so your video's not distracting. Don't move around and show. Find a fixed position, right? That's attractive or a highlight of the house and stay there but look america super hot market right now it's it's super productive to be a seller right now america is a hot market america is yeah. a hot market like yeah. hey colorado where we're at we're second in the country behind san diego but here's the deal all right of the u.s has increased as far as like being a seller's market right okay so if you're gonna be showing listings and open houses great take it from a perspective of wanting to teach buyers right so something that elon i've done before that always works in giving a value add and giving a great discussion as far as being on a video is 
educate them on what's attractive to sellers, right? Hey, we're selling, hey, here's an open house. Hey guys, I'm at, hey guys, happy Saturday. Hey, it's Will and Eli, happy Saturday. We're at our open house today. And hey, listen, while we're at this open house over here in, in Highlands Ranch, Colorado, phenomenal home, really cool. I'll show you guys some B-roll of it. But more importantly, it got us thinking about Man, Colorado is a super hot market and it's really hard for buyers to actually win an offer. So hey, while we're here guys, and just before we start our open house, we figured from a selling agent's perspective and from our seller's perspective, from what we've seen the past year, here's the pattern, here's what sellers are looking for in a buyer. So whether you're working with us or a different agent or whether you're running solo and you don't have an agent at all, here's what you should be doing as far as building yourself up to be the best buyer possible when it comes to being attracted to sellers. And then we talk about the market, we talk about different tools, escalation clauses, appraisal gaps, health and safety, post occupancies. There's only so many tools, but it's more about the conversation that a buyer agent has with the selling agent to make sure that whatever you're forming in your deal is actually custom fit to what a seller might need. We talk about the communication that's super important from your lender and what your lender should be t talking about as far as like a, to a listing agent. And most importantly, if you're gonna be going 75 grand over asking price, yes, you should also show proof of funds readily available in a 401k or a checking account or a savings account that you can actually cover the entire gap to give that seller even more comfort that yes, even if it doesn't appraise, you're not just throwing this appraisal gap into the offer, you've actually proved in addition to your lender letter that here's proof of funds of that amount that we can actually cover it. So there's ways of actually being super strong as a buyer. And guys, we're doing 13 million a month from our YouTube channel alone. We're the second hottest market in the country and the majority of our business is buyers. You gotta be really good at helping buyers or we wouldn't be hitting that type of volume. But we also sell a lot of homes so we can see the perspective. We know the right questions to ask and how to build that value. Cool, and I'm sure a lot of you might have that idea as well or maybe you've articulated these things to clients as well. Well, if it's important content that we can expose to a buyer or a seller, why wouldn't we be talking about it on social media, educating everybody in front of you that is potentially gonna sell a home or buy a home? Because if you're educating an audience on this, here's the deal. Sellers, potential sellers that are watching your videos are like, man, you're professional. You understand what you're looking for. You know how to protect the seller. You know how to make sure you can weed through all of these 75 offers to find the ones that are actually adequate for your seller. More importantly, you're also showing buyers how professional and how prepped you are at prepping a buyer. So when we are on the buy side, the presentation that you offer to a listing agent and to that seller, man, you're coming at it from a professional standpoint and your buyers are prepped and ready to go and you make that seller and that listing agent feel super confident that you guys are gonna get something to closing in addition to your amazing offer. Man, that's great. So now you're attractive, now you're attractive to buyers that could also be watching your video, right? So instead of just walking around this open house or this listing, this highlight of the week, and showing, showing a, a backsplash and showing a, a, a grand bedroom, like, hey, great, but more importantly, just say, hey, guys, from the listing standpoint, here's what we're looking for from your agent. Here's what we're looking for from a buyer. The better you prepare yourself in these lanes, the more success you're gonna have when you're submitting offers on a home that you love. Now, guys, a couple things I wanna add on to here. As a new agent in your first month, you're going to be deluged with a bunch of tasks or just things that are, will have you spinning your wheels. You don't necessarily need to do right now. A ton of CE classes is what you're probably gonna dive into. Um, no, whatever, whatever. you just got licensed. You got three years. Uh, exactly. Not yeah. I'm saying don't do them. Yeah, with the, one, the ones but that we do got, like. Listen, we, you've got to get your business going. The ones that we do like are contract classes. If you haven't taken a dedicated contract class, one of them, mm -hmm. it's good to understand what each of those little provisions and, and paragraphs and clauses Correct. actually mean. However, once you're there, you've got to start building your brand. You've got to start building your content. And the stuff that he's speaking to, you don't need to have done a deal to understand how real estate transactions no, go. No, you probably have a mentor around you or someone that's trying to help you along, right? If you don't, well, this is why we're doing free content on this channel. If you guys are looking at partnering up with agents, yes, we help you guys with this on private Facebook groups, on one-on-one -on -one FaceTime calls to my Instagram every yeah. Sunday. Every single week, I'm answering questions like this for you agents. Every Sunday night, FaceTime, yeah, yeah. ask away. I give you guys 30-minute windows to just crush and do it for free. So if you're in our downline, if you're part of our team, great you have access to that but the bottom line is if you don't know everything I just spoke about I'm like will that's a great idea I just don't know how to speak to that well cool then get yourself around the right people but yes. guys as much as we love exp for a lot of different reasons and why we're scaling across the country yes but we were ready for that the bottom line was whether we're here or anywhere else that we've ever been it's got to be for the people right like you've got to put yourself around the right people that not only have the education and proficiency but the time to actually execute and help you build your brand but this is a huge 
topic of discussion because people want to be on social media a lot now. You just have no idea what to say. So all you're doing is yeah. look at me to listing. Look at me to closing. Look at me to open house. Look at my sign. Me, 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 me. It says nothing about giving a value add to someone else. And yes, guys, before our YouTube channel, we were top 1% and top 0.5% in the world for Berkshire Hathaway with social media and teaching our team of nine. That's it, not 48 agents to hit that top 0.5%. Nine. We were crushing deals by just being subject matter experts, learning how to be a value add on social media and just being professional when we had a client and taking them through that process in the first place. But again, we really wanna pour into you guys and pay it forward because we are in a generation of transparency in social media to where the power is with the actual agent and the expectation of building your business, like it or not, is on you as an agent. So if we can all take care of each other and help each other come up in business, the better. That's why we do this. If you guys have questions on that, yes, that number popping back up below. We are the guys who answer the phone calls and the text messages. We're also the guys who answer the email. So please don't hesitate to ask your questions. Find us on social media, Will yep. underscore Grimes. Yep. Eli Schmidt here. Have some fun with it. Ask away, ask some questions. But the bottom line is, the responsibility of you building your brand and your business, it's on you. Be resourceful. Find those right people to navigate with and build your company. Guys, we've got agents down in Florida, one in, one in particular, Florida, Tennessee, all over the place right now, mm -hmm. starting their YouTube channels. Three months in, this agent is, he literally can't keep up with the business. He's been licensed three months and he's embarrassed to even talk to other people, like agents around where he's at because of how little he's been in the business and how much he's but been But his YouTube working. channel is pouring and if you guys, again, I've said it at the yeah. end of this, I've said it in the beginning of this video and the other videos, living in Denver, Colorado, go check it out. Yeah. That does 13 million a month in volume. We'll show you, call, I'll show you the board. Take a look at it, but the bottom line is, as much as I love jazzing agents up and getting them excited for their business, we're practitioners, guys, we're not, we're not coaches. I don't get paid monthly to, to coach agents. And I'm not against that. It is what it is. I've got my my qualms about it. But the bottom line is, guys, we're practitioners. We it. still run Mile High Property Brothers. We're yeah. still doing deals. We're still helping our team do deals while also pouring into you guys and helping you guys build your business. That means we're in it. So everything that we talk about is actually really working. It's not advice from 20 years ago. It's advice right now in yeah. real time. Yeah. So get yourself around some practitioners. You don't need a motivational coach. You don't need some sideline coach that's not in production because he's coaching. You just need to get around people that are in it, that are doing it, that are excited to help you. If that's for you, please hit us up. But man, right. until next week or next video, subscribe, like it if you like it. See you guys. <laughs> Take care. Bye. See you guys.